All right, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're gonna be going over our weekly forecast here from March 15th until March 22nd. Now, before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather related content and also make sure to share this video with your friends, family, and social media. Now for today's comment of the day, I was trying to come up with a really interesting question. What I wanna know is what is your favorite state outside of your home state or the state that you live in? And if yours is the same as mine, I will be picking that for tomorrow's comment of the day, which would be very exciting. All right, let's get right into things. So this was our temperature forecast last week. I always go over the previous week's forecast and you see we were calling for some colder than the normal conditions up there for the Northwest and through some of the Northern Rockies as well there. And then warmer than normal conditions for some of the central plains, even down through some of the four corner states and all the way into the Eastern United States, a lot of warm all around. Now take a mental note of this and we're gonna switch to what actually happened in three, two, one. And there it is. I think I could have done a little bit more warmth there for some of the western United States, uh, especially the four corner states. But without, uh, I guess with the exception of that, it looks really good in my opinion. But I want to know what you guys think. The cold is definitely there for the Pacific Northwest as well, which is a bonus. But let me know how I did. One out of ten in the comments down below. I always love getting the feedback and I really appreciate it. I really, really do. All right, now we're about to move on and take a look at this week's actual forecast. We're going to go over our precipitation forecast, then our temperature forecast, and then finally our special note segment. All right, so here is our first layer here on our precipitation forecast, and we're going to be starting with a below average precipitation region. This one's going to be slightly below average precipitation there for Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and even Florida. That's an area where we're expecting slightly below normal precipitation uh, for those regions. You might not notice it, but it will definitely be a little bit below normal, uh, hardly noticeable. But up here for the Pacific Northwest, as we add our second layer, uh, we definitely will be noticing it a little bit more. Our first shade here is going to extend for a lot of California, Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Montana, and even down through North Dakota and a bit of Minnesota. Let's go ahead and add a second layer here for coastal Oregon and then coastal and a bit of the mountainous regions there in Washington as well. That's an area where it's going to be a bit more noticeable that we do have below average precipitation throughout that region up there in the Pacific Northwest. It's gonna be quite dry actually. And it's actually been dry for a few weeks up there. If you live in the Pacific Northwest, leave a comment, let me know what the conditions have been like, but I'm pretty sure it's been a few months here with below average precipitation. But again, just let me know because I don't know for sure, but I've been forecasting at least a few weeks here for below average precipitation that I can recall. Now we're about to move on and we're gonna take a look at that above average precipitation, which is actually gonna take up most of the country this week. A lot to talk about there as we get into our above average precipitation. All right, so here is that area we see for California, Nevada, even portions of Oregon, Idaho, Utah, and Arizona as well as New Mexico there, all experiencing slightly above average precipitation. Then it even moves into Texas and a lot of the central plains like Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, through Iowa, Missouri, and Arkansas, all the way up into the Great Lakes and Tennessee and Kentucky, and then up through some of the mid-Atlantic like West Virginia, Virginia, Maryland, D.C., up into Pennsylvania and New Jersey as well, all the way up into New York and even New England, we're all going to be experiencing some slightly above normal precipitation here. Definitely not going to be noticeable for everybody, but there will be some areas that get more than others uh, throughout this entire region. We do have some second layers here for our first one, even California getting involved in a lot of the precipitation for the second week in a row. Good news for them, more precipitation is on the way. As you can see, they are in my moderately above average precipitation region. Very, very good news there for California. It's probably been really weird getting some precipitation there lately, but I'm definitely thankful to see that here on the map, and I'm very happy to announce that. Uh, it's going to be quite noticeable that we're going to have a lot of precipitation there. Now, we have a second area with our second layer of above average precipitation, and this one's going to be for Texas, Oklahoma, Portions of Kansas and Arkansas as well, all the way up and through Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, and a bit of West Virginia as well. This is an area where I'm expecting, again, moderately above average precipitation. Uh, definitely going to be quite noticeable throughout these regions. And actually, I'm eyeballing a few chances for severe weather possibly this week throughout this region. So be on the lookout for that. This is in that region where I've been anticipating the most severe weather and what we've had so far 
as far as the most severe weather this season for Missouri, Arkansas, portions of Kentucky, and Tennessee as well. All right, now we're about to move on to our very, very exciting temperature forecast. We're going to talk about where you can see some below normal temperatures and some above normal temperatures. We're going to go over all of that uh, in the next few frames. Now for our first layer of below average temperatures here, you can see we have for the Adirondack Mountains in New York all the way through into the northern halves of Vermont and New Hampshire and then the northern two-thirds of Maine, I would say, are all included in this slightly below average temperature region. And I really think this is going to be an area where, again, it's not going to be too noticeable. And actually, uh, to be more specific, we've been having temperatures that I think are quite similar to this lately. So you might not notice too much of a change from previous weeks here for a lot of these regions up there in the far north of New England and upstate New York. For our second area of below average temperatures, this is a much, much larger region. We see from the west coast and through some of the four corner states, including uh, Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah, excluding Colorado there. Well, I guess the very eastern edge does have some below average. Uh, we see Nevada is included in this all the way up through Idaho, Montana, Washington, and Oregon. And then back down through Wyoming and Colorado. And then a lot of the plains like Kansas, Nebraska, the Dakotas. And then even Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and the upper peninsula of Michigan here. We even have a second layer here of below average temperatures. And this one's going to be for Arizona, California, Nevada, Oregon, and even in through Washington. All of these areas are going to have a little bit more noticeably below average temperatures, I would say. Now, we even have a second area of our second layer of below average temperatures here, and this one's going to be for Montana and a little bit of North Dakota there as well. This is an area, again, where we're expecting moderately below average temperatures there, specifically there for North Central Montana. We even have a third layer of below average temperatures. This is going to be a very, very small area, but they're very far north up there in the North Central regions of Montana. We are expecting well below normal temperatures. It's going to be very, very frigid up there, I believe, this week from the 15th through the 22nd, expecting some very interestingly cold conditions. Going to be brutal, possibly, this week for a lot of those very far northern regions in Montana. Now, for our above average temperature region here, you can see for Texas, Oklahoma, even through portions of the deep south like Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, and Georgia, we even see Arkansas, Missouri getting included in this, and even the very southern regions of Illinois, the southern half of Indiana, and all of Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee. We even see up through the Carolinas, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia. We even see Maryland, D.C., Delaware, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey and New York City all included in this slightly above average temperature region. But again, it might not be too noticeable for all areas, some more than others for sure, but really you might not notice it. It's definitely going to be above average on paper, though. Let's go ahead and add that second layer of above average temperatures, though. And this one's going to be specifically for Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, and a bit of Tennessee as well, especially the very southern half of Tennessee, I believe. And this is just going to be an area where it's going to be a bit more noticeable that you're dealing with some above average temperatures here. Now we're about to move on and take a look at your special notes segment of the video and then finally your comment of the day. All right, so now for your first special note, we have multiple severe weather chances for all of these regions. It might not be all of these regions, but it's going to be somewhere within there. I think we will have multiple severe weather events. It's hard to say for certain, but I think Texas and Oklahoma have the best chance as well as up through Arkansas, Missouri have a pretty good chance as well as Kentucky, Southern Illinois, and Southern Indiana. That's been a very, very hot spot so far this severe weather season. And I think if the trend is our friend, which is a saying in weather, the, the trend usually continues. I think that we could expect to see some more severe weather for that region that's been a hot spot so far. And then I think for the extreme southeast there, uh, as they're moving from west to east, I think that there will be some maybe marginal to slight risk to severe weather events, maybe one or two for that region there, maybe Georgia and Florida, similar to what we had a week or two ago. Now for your second special note of the video, uh, we're looking at the 19th through the 22nd here specifically. I think there is a snowstorm possible there for the Rockies eastward into the upper Midwest, possibly upper Great Plains as well. And it's impossible at this point to say or determine the intensity of this one, but really 
Uh, what you need to know is I am eyeballing the potential for a snowstorm towards the end of the week, and it's not a sure thing, but definitely the chance is increasing that towards later in the week, maybe Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we could be looking at the potential for a snowstorm within this region of the Rockies and then eastward into the upper Midwest, once again, like I said before. Now, for your comment of the day, I asked you guys, what are your plans for gardening this year? And Richard Lay said, trying to go to more sustainable crops like asparagus, and I'm all about the sustainability stuff. I think that's super cool, and that's kind of what I'm trying to move towards as well with the berries. You know, it just comes back every year. It's lower maintenance, and, you know, I always like plants that come back. I think they're a lot uh, easier to get invested in, if that makes sense. Anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and social medias, and I will see you guys in the next video.